Fellow entrepreneurs, hello. My name is Matt from Cinebite Filmography. When I started up Cinebite, one of the first things I daydreamed about was getting custom decals done up for my toys. I put it off, put it off, figuring that I'd have to hire some designer, pay crazy setup fees, and on and on. So it went to the wayside until a good friend of mine, Carl from ADV Moto Magazine, sent me a link to a website where you can create your own custom decals. I did not know man could build such things. If you aren't familiar with ADV Moto Magazine, check them out. These guys are just like you and me. They eat, sleep, and breathe adventure motorcycling. It's the inaugural. It's the inaugural. For the first time ever. It's the show that helps you put the hurt on the dirt with the gear to persevere. <laughs> Motocow.com is the only website that gives motorsports competitors, fans, and participants, even businesses in the biz, the ability to create and design 100% fully custom decals anywhere, anytime, via the internet, of course. With over 40 years of print and design experience, Motocow.com lets you create and design decals and graphic kits for all motorsports, such as dirt and adventure bikes, ATVs, carts, jet skis, snowmobiles, even number plates for cars and boats. Motorsports are regulated by their respective governing bodies, and Motocal knows this. They only use the most up-to-date regulations to safeguard your decal designs. So, if it's your, your big race or rally, there's nothing to worry about when you show up in your sweet new skins. You don't need to know anything about design or print, and the best part is, it's easy and fun. I actually really, really enjoyed myself while I was working on my graphics. Let's get at it. All the materials that have gone into creating Motocal.com's decals go through rigorous tests before being used. Not only for safety reasons, but quality. The guys from Motocal know what we are going to put them through because they hit the dirt themselves. So, some of the first basic questions that you may ask yourself, what level of thickness do I need? What's going to work for me? Thick, medium, or thin? They've created a five maximum, zero minimum system for rating the different attributes of each thickness. So you can get an idea on the breakdown of each one. They go into durability. That's the amount of abuse it can take. For example, flying stones, hitting trees, other vehicles, letting your brother ride it. Lifespan, that's you know, how long is it going to need till it needs replacing. Thickness, that applies to how well it's going to protect your machine in extreme environments. UV protection, how well it's going to hold up against the sun and fitting and removability ease. Motocal.com is an extremely easy website to navigate. If you're like me and you like to study up on things before you get at it, there's some video tutorials available also that are going to help give you a better idea on how things work. There's a design video that's going to help you learn how to do basic or advanced designs. A decal hub that's going to show you how to apply and remove your decals. And in all buttons explained, which they put wonderfully, does exactly what it says. Motocal.com uses the best techniques when collecting templates. They know that the fit has to be perfect and are continuously adding to their database. If you want a specific template, say a Rally Raid Products Evo 2 kit, just send them an email and they're going to do their best to get you sorted out. When you're on their website, on the lower left third will be a chat box. If you've got any questions or problems, therein lies your answers. Mike from Motocal is on the other end of that box and he is on it. So, if your ride isn't in the database, which is highly unlikely, they're going to find something that'll fit. They have an extensive knowledge of model years and their designs and can get you a decal that'll fit pretty close. You're just going to have to do a little bit of trimming. So, if you're not sure, get a hold of Mike before attempting anything because he's probably already got the solution. I could do an entire video on their customer service. They are awesome. Someone else who was awesome? My good friend. Mr. Christopher Bowersox. You'll come to know Chris as the Master Chief and Resident Mechanic here at Cinebike. From maintenance to repairs, even custom paint jobs, this guy does it all. Sweet introduction, Matt. Thank Another you. thing that I thought was pretty sweet is the email that Motocal sends out to you a couple days before your decals arrive. It goes over everything you need to know about taking off your old decals and putting the new ones on. I was really surprised that uh, you don't need any kind of special chemicals or Adhesive removers, all you need is uh, plain rubbing alcohol. If you don't have any rubbing alcohol, you can use gasoline as long as there's no 
oil mixed with it. Yeah, and I thought that we were going to have to go out and pick up a heat gun. But yeah, they actually recommend that you don't use a heat gun. I just snuck upstairs and got Deb's hair dryer. <laughs> you got Deb's hair dryer. Yeah, so we better uh, get these on and get it back. Yeah, there. Deborah will not like that. So, uh, shall we begin? Let's begin. There you have it. Jabberwocky's all dressed up, but I still can't take him out. Cinnabike's got some risers and pegs coming up for him, so maybe then, maybe. So here's something I found admirable. Motocow actively donates a portion of each sale to wingsforlife.com charity. Wings for Life is a non-profit spinal cord research foundation. Their mission, to find a cure for injured spinal cords. Your purchases will help fund world-class scientific research and clinical trials around the globe aimed at healing injured spinal cords. I got amazing, professional, thick decals for less than 60 bucks. Yeah, only 60 bucks for three decals. And some of that's going to possibly one day change the lives of the people who know the word struggle. And if there's anyone out there thinking, 60 bucks for three stickers? Try calling some graphics or print design studio once. I have. And the only other options I found on the internet was pre-designed, not your design decals. And that's okay if they got what you want. You're especially in luck if you're into killer looking crazed clowns, 3D skulls, cheesy flames, or more killer looking crazed clowns. And that's what makes MotorCal unique. They're just a group of motorsports enthusiasts that work hard to give us the tools to create our own custom decals. And that's what's important to them. It all sprung from the desire to have this kind of service themselves. They love what they do and believe that being able to put your own personal mark on your vehicle whatever that might be, really adds to the experience of owning and riding them. Now, Chris did all the work on putting on the decals, so uh, why don't we go ahead and get Chris in here and see uh, if he got any comments for us. So, what's up, brother? Cool. So, what'd you think of the quality of the 
decals themselves. They're very quality. I was especially surprised that you could actually install them and remove them if they weren't is that, right. That's is that something that's because I've never done it before. Is that something that could, obviously you've done this before? Yeah, if they're if they're not high quality, when you go to remove it to reposition it, they'll stretch out of shape and oh really? And they're yeah, they're pretty amazing. So that's and, and we went with the thick decals. They like I said, they got thick, medium, or thin. We went with thick because I'm hard on things. So and you might let your brother ride it. Yeah, I might let my brother ride it. No, you ain't riding it. But they come out amazing. I mean, you did a great job putting them on. It, it seemed like it seemed like they they really recovered after several attempts. Chris actually, you know, you saw he put them on, ripped them off, put them on, ripped them off a couple times until he got it perfectly right. And then once you put that heat on there, it, it really come so out sharp. The glue and it's yeah, really come out sharp. So. Take it in the woods and see how it holds up. Yeah, and speaking of how it holds up, about the 1,000-mile mark, maybe the 500-mile mark in the dirt, we'll check back in with you to give you a detailed and honest review with these decals once we've had some time riding on them, obviously. So please remember, well, I guess not remember, but please know this, that we ain't getting paid to do this. We, we're not? No. <laughs> no, we're not. We don't have to do or say anything. So we're going to give it to you straight. If you want to go on Facebook, give us a like, subscribe on YouTube. That's where the payment is. That's what's going to make it worth continuing to make these videos. I just want to say thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, send us an email at cinebike at outlook.com. Other than that, like and subscribe. Continue to ride. Thanks for watching. Cinebike. Smile. Smile. I didn't see two fingers. <laughs> there was two of them there. I didn't see them. The other was a <laughs> Yes, it was. <laughs> All right.